my girl Sheree Whitfield a squatter? Nah, I'll just mess with y'all. All right, so <laughs> I'll just mess with y'all, man. Shout out to Sheree. I'm just telling a little jokey joke, but her house is beautiful. Not as beautiful as her, but that is a nice house. Chateau Sheree is a place that, listen, I, listen, Jesus, I will never live in a mansion like Chateau Sheree. I live in my mama's garbage can. That's why it's a little bit echoey in this video, but that's none of y'all business. So the good people at WSBTV.com posted a news video. Now, for the record, the news video is on my blog, but I can't post it here. But I did take some cliff notes from the, was it like a two or three minute video? Yeah, it wasn't very long, but I did take some cliff notes. So then that way, you know, for anybody who doesn't want to watch the video or whatever, oh, I just checked. It was a minute and 44 seconds. But anyways, here's what they said. According to the news story, Sheree Whitfield received citations stemming from a housewarming party at Chateau Sheree. At first, Sheree put her hand on the news station's camera lens. You know, she demanded that they leave her alone. If I'm not mistaken, she was walking into court. But like when she was walking like out of court through the parking lot, she ended up talking to them <laughs> briefly. Now, her neighbors took pictures of the gathering at her home, Chateau Sheree. She said that she's been living in that neighborhood for the past 17 years. So what's the issue? Well, she pled no contest to the citations. It was fined $1,000. Now, according to the news story, she did not have documents allowing her to live in the home and did not have permits for the event that took place at the house or the film crew that was there videotaping the event. Now, <laughs> the judge also fined the show's producer, The Real Housewives of Atlanta Show, $1,000 for failing to obtain permits as well. So Charade and a producer for the show, 1000 each. Not too bad. I mean, I thought it was going to be more than that. Now, a neighbor slash witness described the events as, quote, <laughs> an invasion. He went on to say that there were commercial vehicles, spotlights, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars. Damn. So I guess when she was showing off her house, the whole damn planet came to visit her. Jesus, it was it was it was an it was an alien invasion, my lord. <laughs> I mean, it's, everybody came to see Sheree's house. Shit, I would come there to see the booty. Forget the house. <laughs> I want to know what the booty looks like in person. <laughs> Sheree's fine as hell. Anyway, <clears throat> anyways, in other news, speaking of fine women, Kenya Moore was cited for shooting an episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta 9 and her home, Moore Manor, without proper permutation. However, she failed to appear in court. <gasps> she set to twirl into the court in December of 2016, but I'll make a separate video about that. Man, it looks like Kenya Moore might have to give up a G as well. A thousand dollars, a rack, a stack, a thousand dollars. I mean, when you go to court, you see, Honestly, I thought they were going to say she's going to have to give up like 10 racks or something crazy, you know. Shoot, $1,000, dude. I make over $2,000 every single day. I'm rich. I have $14 million. If my girl Sheree with her fine self needs that $1,000, I got her. I will give her the $1,000 because it's nothing to a baller like me. But that's none of y'all business. But anyways, shout out to Sheree with her fine self. You know, she should have never had to go into court. Unless it was for stopping traffic or knocking them dead, slaying everybody with all that beauty and all that booty. And that's what she should have been going to court for, Jesus. But anyways, just because I think that Sheree is innocent, just because I think that people need to mind their business and that neighbor should have shut the fuck up, doesn't mean that you feel the same way. Maybe you think that she should have gone to court and had to give up a thousand dollars. You know, maybe you think that this is OK. I think it's wrong. I think that pretty women should never get sued. No matter what they do, I, I think that uh, good looking women are always innocent and never guilty. But anyways, this is all my thirsty opinion. You know, I'm the leader of a tribe called Thirst, leader of the Thirsty Knights, the TKs. You might see a T in the comment section randomly. You might not know what that means. That means that that is a fellow Thirsty Knight member. That means it's one of my fellow brothers from a tribe called Thirst letting y'all sisters know that he was thirsty over there and he needed to go take a sip, you know, a peek, a look at all that fine. But anyway. Shout out to Sheree. I'm glad she didn't have to pay fifty, a hundred thousand dollars, ten. I'm glad that it stopped right there. She paid her due. Well, I don't know if she paid it yet, but she'll have to pay her dues if she didn't pay it already. 
And, you know, I, I think they need to stop picking on Sharon. I'm telling y'all, there's a war on pretty. That's what this, let me tell you something right now. Those neighbors were just jealous because this fine woman living in that big old supersized house with all that money and all that room. And they were looking at her like, how does she live there? What does she do? Who is she? Oh, she's one of those TV star chicks. I bet she's stuck up. They were like, look at her hopping in and out of her nice car with her nice clothes on, looking pretty. And they just got upset. I, I honestly think that they were just being jealous. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. For the record, if I was Sheree's neighbor, I wouldn't have said shit. I would have put some earplugs in. I would have put my sleeping blindfold on and just went to sleep peacefully and minding my own damn business. But how would you have handled the situation? Would you have called the police? Would you have gone to court and testified against her? Would you have gone to that extreme to try to get my girl Sheree in trouble? And what do they mean Sheree doesn't have the permits to live in that house? Does that mean that it wasn't up to code at the time? It wasn't finished. Or are they trying to say my girl Sheree is a squatter. She can squat on my face anytime, Jesus. New chair, Meat Magazine.